guys, it's Angie. So you know I'm all about being transparent with my eBay business. And I see a lot of people saying that they are six figure eBay resellers, and I think that's great. But I really think it can be discouraging to somebody who is a new seller who doesn't understand what those numbers actually mean. So I'm gonna run down my numbers for last year and show you what I sold, how much eBay took out and kind of my bottom line. So let's get right into it. So last year, my sales on eBay were just under $120,000. That seems like amazing, right? But no, I didn't bring home six figure income. So I want to explain exactly what it means when you sell over a hundred thousand dollars on eBay. So my total, I really was hoping to get on eBay to 120,000, but my total ended up being $117,704.04. Seems like a big amount of money, I know. So of that $117,000, $6,129 never actually came to me. That was sales tax that eBay collects on my behalf and sends it to the states. Then the biggest number that comes out of there are my selling costs. You can see that right here. And the selling costs come to $47,000. Wow, that's a lot. But I will tell you that the selling costs include not only shipping, but all the eBay fees and all of my promoted listings. So that's a lot to be included in the selling costs. 40% of the money that I made on eBay actually came out in shipping and fees. So what I actually got in the bank account was $63,916.30. $63,000 is actually what I get in my bank account, but that's not the bottom line either. I have to pay for cost of goods. So all the items that I purchased from yard sales, thrift stores, etc., that came to right about $5,100. And then I also had to pay for supplies, bubble wrap, boxes, poly mailers, all those kinds of things. My poly mailers and supplies came to about $400 last year. So that means my total actual eBay income was $58,416. Now I will tell you that I did have some sales on Facebook Marketplace that are not included. And I have a weekly auction on YouTube that I made money on throughout the year, but that's not included in this. We just wanted to do strictly what I made on eBay. So actually my salary for eBay was $58,000. Now I do have to pay taxes out of that money, just the same as if I went to a job. If you count that over 40 hours a week, that means I made about $28 an hour. So compared to the $120,000 I'm starting with, it definitely does not end up being where my income is over $100,000, gosh, I wish. Now I do hope to increase my sales this year and mostly that's gonna be consistency. I'm going to try to list every single day a certain minimum number because that seems to be where I fall short throughout the year is not being consistent with listing every single day. Um, Rachel Strickland says, treat your business like your business. So that's more what I'm doing where I have actual office hours where I'm working my 40 hour job, just like if I went to an office and I'm gonna see how that translates for me for the year in increasing sales. That's what I'm hoping anyways, is that it definitely increases my sales just from me being more consistent at like a regular job. Because one of the things that I find is when we work from home, it's like, you get distracted easily. I mean, Oliver comes over and wants to play, get cuddles and he's such a sweetie, or mom needs to go to the store, or I go make coffee and then I putz around doing other things, and my daughter comes over and we hang out or we go get lunch or, you know, lots of things that seem to interrupt the day, whereas if I was at a job, I can't just leave and stop in the middle of the day doing whatever the heck I want. So I'm gonna really try to be more consistent and more thoughtful about my schedule and keeping on track and see how that does for next year. I always recommend that you try to make some goals at the beginning of the year so that you're working towards them all year long. 
It's not a matter of you comparing how much I made to what you made because everyone is different. And I've been doing this a long time. There are some people that I am just blown away by their sales. Like James, my boring reseller life, amazing. His sales are incredible. If you haven't like followed him, definitely check him out because wow, amazing sales. I guess I just haven't found that magic formula yet or maybe it's just I'm just not as motivated as he is. But I am trying to do year over year better sales than I did last year. I did increase my sales 19% over last year. So I am very happy with that. And if I could increase it another 20% this year, I'll be doing really, really well. So that is definitely the goal. And I will say that lots of people are doing high end numbers and they're selling items that are expensive. My average sales price is only $27.03. So that's pretty low when you consider that includes your shipping, but I did sell 4,355 items for the year. That's pretty darn good. That's an increase of 25% over last year. So while my average sale price hasn't changed very much over the year, I did sell a lot more items, which is great. Now I will tell you, I had a terrible December. I really thought that I would get the 120,000, but I just didn't get there in December. I just, my store just did not do well at all, but that's okay. Now we're in January, we're gonna keep moving forward and see if we can make some changes that will overall affect my business in a positive way. So that's what I'm gonna do. Of course, if you have any questions or you wanna know any specifics about my sales, send me a message. I'm always happy to talk numbers with anyone who's interested. I hope you learn something from my numbers and they motivate you to get going on eBay and striving to increase your sales for this year as well. Thanks so much for coming and hanging out. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. See you next time. Bye.